New tonight for millions of kids across the country. Summer is time for camp, but for some kids, going outside during the day is strictly forbidden. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco introduces us to the children of the night. It feels like you're on fire. Hannah Woodkowski can't be outside during the day for more than 10 minutes. Basically, the sun poisons my body. McKinley Adams can't go outside while the sun is out at all. He gets up about two or three in the afternoon and doesn't go to sleep until three or four in the morning. Hannah and McKinley both suffer from a severe sensitivity to ultraviolet light. Fluorescent lights, um, halogen lights, um, a lot of Basically, every single UV rays um, bothers my body. Children with such severe light sensitivities, doctors say, can be a thousand times more likely to develop skin cancer because their bodies can't repair the damage caused by UV light. With exposure to sunlight mostly forbidden, childhood is anything but typical, especially in the summer. Go to the pool, summer camps, day camps. I can't do that. Please don't tell me my daughter is allergic to the sun because it's it's like saying she's allergic to water. Daniel Mahar was devastated over his daughter Katie's diagnosis in 1995. No one's going to tell my daughter that parts of this world are off limits to her. Determined to give Katie some sense of normalcy, Mahar and his wife Karen came up with an idea. <laughs> Welcome to Camp Sundown in Craryville, New York, where typical day camp activities take place at night. The entire building is safe for children with light sensitivity. The windows are tinted, the lights are incandescent, and there's a set of double doors here at the front entrance to prevent any sunlight from getting in. During the day, the kids stay inside, <laughs> entertained by a revolving door of volunteers. Games, arts and crafts, you name it. And when night falls, go! go they get to be free. It's just a totally different experience, and their parents trust that it's safe, and they can let go, and they can relax. You have a great support group, and just that feeling of community and knowing that you don't have to face this alone anymore is wonderful. There's no cure for this extreme light sensitivity. Camp Sundown, which is funded solely by donations, hosts about 20 children a session along with their families.